Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Commodity TV is still in Vancouver here as it's my last day here, but uh, I'm now at the offices of Eximen Mining and with me here is Chris Anderson, the CEO, yeah, who wants to give us an insight and update onto his company. Welcome, Chris. Yeah, welcome. Thank and you for having me. Yeah, thanks yeah. for taking the time in your office here. And uh, as you see, I'm a little bit melting <laughs> away because yeah. it's raining cats and dogs outside. Yeah, a little it's, warm in here. Uh, yeah. It's a bit, little bit warm in here also. Yeah. So excuse me for a little yeah. bit being wet, mm -hmm. but it is what it is. Eximin Mining, what's the company about? Where are located? What are you doing? Yeah, all our assets are, are precious metal assets located in southern British Columbia. Mm -hmm. And our philosophy is to acquire high-grade assets that have a mineable potential mm -hmm. and to acquire them 100% and buy out all their NSRs. So pretty much that's the boat that we're in now. We own most of our assets 100%. Super, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so 2019 was uh, quite a yeah, year with a lot of workload. You brought out a lot of news releases. Yeah? Yes. So maybe you can comment a little bit what were the highlights in the year, what was important for you to achieve. Sure. Um, so on the miner side, we, we have um, several projects in the company, as I said, all located in Southern British Columbia. We have two option partners. So there was a fair amount of work done on our option partner properties which mm -hmm. was fantastic we had some one of the highlights on the on the uh, gold drop property is we had a, a hole that was drilled there that was uh, 7.4 meters of uh, 7.3 meters of four ounce mm -hmm. one of the top 10 gold holes drilled in the world that was announced last january mm -hmm. a year ago um, so there's been a lot of drilling done there and um, so our option partners have progressed on their properties we had the brett project which is a, a um, an epithermal project so had quite a bit of work done on it mm -hmm. We own that 100%. We've paid millions for that. And that was the project we were moving forward on as the elephant in the company. Mm -hmm. And then um, this year, a project that we've been working on, or a 2019 project we've been working to acquire for about four years. We finally acquired it. It's called the Kenville mm -hmm. Gold Project. Mm -hmm. It comes with surface rights, underground rights, equipment, and some permitting. Mm -hmm. um, so we acquired that and brought it into the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a phenomenal asset for us. It's... Um, so we, we're we're moving forward on that. We want to we want to advance that project right away. So that's become mm -hmm. the highlight of the company. So those are some things that we've done mm -hmm. this year, um, mm -hmm. and we've done quite a bit of financing. We're yeah. in good shape, and yeah. you know, fantastic. Done that's very important. Well. Yeah. So um, as I see a production scenario here with your company, of course, yeah. Yes. So yeah. you're still waiting for some permits, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. on the Kenville, what 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 our plans are is to uh, put in a 1,200 meter decline. Mm -hmm. And we're going through right through some areas that have been drilled. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, during the progress of that decline, we want to initiate a bulk sample, 10,000 mm -hmm. tons a half ounce. We're targeting half ounce material here. Mm -hmm. And um, and then when we get down to the bottom of the decline, we hope to be in a position to just continue on right into production. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're targeting, you know, 125 ton a day, a half ounce. That's what we're looking at, mm -hmm. right? Well. Um, so we're very optimistic about mm -hmm. it. Um, the mine manager that we have on the project was the last man to take ore out of this project mm -hmm. in, in the uh, er, in the in 1990s. Mm -hmm. And he's the one that did four years of drilling in there that's going He knows out, it well, I would He say. knows it very well, yeah. He's a well-known miner yeah. in the area. So. Super. Yeah, we're okay. very excited about the project. So that means as soon as you have the permit, you can really go full throttle, right? Correct, yes. Okay, so yeah. that should be anyhow this year. We're, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, they, we Maybe had sooner a, than later, hopefully. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we had a permit in place, uh, and uh, we just uh, reinitiated that permit this year because we wanted to extend it, and they made some changes in the in the government with mm -hmm. uh, permitting. Um, but it's well on track. You okay. know, a little got a little bit delayed, but we're well yeah. on track. So super, great. Yeah. So you had also uh, some good news. Uh, uh, t I think it was yesterday with, uh, uh, yes, with yes, uh, right. the bank. You That's are working correct. Out yeah. together. Maybe you can comment a bit. Yeah, on that. because of the growth of the company and where <clears> we're going, we wanted to bring in some financial expertise. So we were fortunate. We've been talking with some groups, and we uh, signed uh, up Laurentian Bank. So mm -hmm. they came on as of yesterday. So they're going to be financial advisors and work with us and. You mm -hmm. know, help us on the fundraising side, help, help, help us with the market and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we're, we're excited to have them on board with us mm -hmm. as well. Fantastic. One of the oldest banks in Canada. Yeah, that's right. They have a yeah. very good name, I would say. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Now, congratulations on that because Thank that's you. important. Um, so what is the, let's say, the workflow for this year? What have you planned aside, of course, when you have the permit to really start the bulk sample and to go in production? Yes. Well, we have permits on several different projects mm -hmm. that we have in the company. So we're... Uh, we're going to be have a very v busy field season, right? Because mm -hmm. you always got to be working on the projects. Our 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 um, two key assets, which are the Kenville and the Brett. Mm -hmm. um, the Kenville, as soon as we get the permit on the Kenville, we're going to start the decline. So mm -hmm. we're just we, we've got everything. We're, we're ready mm -hmm. to go there. We're just the machinery, waiting. Machinery, everything. Everything, yeah. So yeah. we're ready to start that. We need some capital. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Fortunately, we've got Laurentian Bank on side, and mm -hmm. we also have Illumina Partners, which mm -hmm. I, have been financing us as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll initiate uh, um, the uh, decline on the Kenville, mm -hmm. and then we've also got permits in on the Brett. We want to do some underground development at the Brett mm -hmm. and and do some drilling in there to define. That's really yeah. a project that we think we mm -hmm. has got multi million ounce type potential. Mm -hmm. right? Fantastic, great. Yeah. So let's assume you have the permit. Let's assume mm -hmm. you can start with the decline. How long would it take un until you can get really now in production, meaning for cash flow? I think in, in about nine months, we would start mm -hmm. to have material on, on deck that would be, uh, mm -hmm. that would start to generate some cash flow back. Mm -hmm. I, when you say cash flow, you know, it's a, initially a bulk sample and then we have to move into a small mm -hmm. mining permit, right? Of course, yeah. So we're looking within nine to 12 months, we'd be in full flow, right? Mm -hmm. But we'll start, uh, uh, we'll start in, uh, as soon as we get the permit mm -hmm. and then within a year, we should be provided everything goes tickety-boo as, mm -hmm. as you know, permitting wise, yeah, yeah. Um, we should be well in and, and be into the small mining permit. Okay, right? fantastic. So then let's let's assume that you would be really in production. What is, let's say, the target? I know forward looking statement for the regulators. Yes. But uh, what is your your planning, your thinking, your wish, what you want to achieve as an annual production? Yeah, we're, we've got a it's a very defined objective that we have here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know a lot of people have looked at the Kenville project and because of the grades, they've looked at, you know, ramping mm -hmm. things that we got. We're looking at targeting 125 ton a half ounce. Mm -hmm. So that's 62 and a half ounces of, de uh, of gold every day on deck, right? That's what we're mm -hmm. looking so at. So that's like 20,000 right? ounces a year. Yes. Something yeah. like that. And we're so looking at, you know, we're targeting in that $900 Canadian all-in costs. Mm -hmm. Is that what, That's what we're looking at, right? Okay. So Even if it would be a thousand, it's still a great margin, right? Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. but, uh, those numbers, you know, um, that's why we have mm -hmm. Laurentian bank on side. So we've mm -hmm. got projected financials. We got all our costs laid out. We got our mm -hmm. cash flows done and now they're reviewing all that stuff. And we hope to have some, you know, IRRs and, you know, our project, Mm -hmm. uh, pr looked at from a more professional group like Laurentian yeah. to help yeah. us define some of those numbers. Super. Yeah. Great. Uh, last question. What would be the longer term vision of the company? Assuming production is running, you do the 20,000 ounces, you have the cash flow, you have, of course, of, of course money to play with, I mm -hmm. would say. Yeah. So what would be the longer term vision? Well, the next step after that would be to advance the Brett, mm -hmm. right? Because the Brett has really got the potential to be like, I think mm -hmm. we, you know, million ounce plus. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we really need to do uh, a, quite a bit of exploration work on that. Mm -hmm. So capital coming in would help us fund that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think there's an opportunity in, in Canada to build a small, you know, junior mining company mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, gold mining company. And that's yeah. what we're, we're interested in doing. Mm -hmm. um, so we know there's several other projects in the area that are of interest to us, mm -hmm. right? So we're mm -hmm. always got our eye out and our hands on the pulse, uh, yeah. you know, looking <laughs> for things, right? But yeah. uh, we got enough on our plate right now. So this mm -hmm. year, you know, if we can get the, the, the decline completed on the Kenville mm -hmm. and, and get some cash coming into the company, mm -hmm. that would be, that would be fantastic. That's, that's really, that's, that's really risky, what we want right? to do. We want to, yeah. we want to remove ourselves from having mm -hmm. to go to the market to raise yep. capital yep. and be self-sufficient, right? Super. And all small gold, you know, small gold mines used to be uh, the heartbeat of BC, mm -hmm. right? And, um, this is an opportunity to show what can be done. We got the the uh, the waste rock is acid neutralizing the water you can drink that comes out of the mm. portal. I mean, I, you've seen a sample of me drinking I the water. That, I yeah. saw that in your presentation. Yeah, so it's yeah. It, and we're uh, you know one of the things that we're um, you know um, we're an environmentally small footprint. Mm -hmm. You know, we can create mm -hmm. high impact paying jobs for the local community, which they're all behind us. Um, you know, we're powered off the Kootenai Dam. We're using pneumatic drills underground. Mm -hmm. We're using LED lighting to, to light up the under the inside the mine site itself. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, green gold, if you can say it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, uh, they're a very good thing for the environment mm -hmm. while creating good, pa impactful jobs. Right? So, so meaning full, full, uh, full um, no, fulfilling the ESG. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> ESG. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Great. Yeah. Well, then, Chris, all the best for that. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. And uh, yeah, please keep us posted. Will do. And uh, we yeah, keep the fingers crossed uh, for your permit. Then. Yeah. And thanks for, for having me on show. You're doing a great job. I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. That's yeah. very kind. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it was Chris Anderson, the CEO of XMN Mining. And uh, you heard it. Yeah. Waiting for the permit. Then they can immediately start uh, to build the decline. And uh, yeah, the, the uh, let's say, 
phase one uh, uh, yeah, growth plan of the companies to build up like a 20,000 ounce production and then really to move it forward longer term to build a beautiful, nice uh, uh, mid-sized gold producer. And uh, yeah, well, let's see how that goes. And uh, we look forward to the permit. And then, of course, Chris has to give us an update. So thanks for watching us. Bye-bye from Vancouver.